Hey guys, this is Positive Girl 11, otherwise known as Takesha or Nikki, and I'm coming with an update video. Um, I was going to wait until tomorrow, actually, because I thought about it. Last time I came to you guys, I, um, I think that was about like two weeks ago. Uh, this Friday, it'll probably be like two weeks ago, and I told you guys I was going to come, you know, the next week with the video, and I didn't. So, um, and this is not a Debbie Downer video. I'm normally pretty upbeat with my videos to some extent, but I've just been wrecked you know, reflecting on some things, and I've been watching some videos, and, um, just trying to figure out my thing, um, so for those of you that are just now joining me, welcome and thank you, um, I'll get to the numbers, um, my starting weight, um, my highest weight recorded was in October of 2012, and I was 256 pounds. Date of surgery, I was 238.8. Um, last time I came to you guys, I was 145 pounds. And this week, I weigh in at 100. Sunday, I was 154 pounds. And today, I'm 150. <coughs> excuse me. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What have I been doing? <laughs> what have I been doing, people? <laughs> That's not funny. That's 150 pounds. That's, I'm up, you know, five pounds from last time we talked. But Sunday, I was up, what, like nine pounds? So, mm -mm, not going. So, I'm trying to figure this thing out. You know, I'm into the vegetarian, vegan lifestyle, and I love it. I don't have any qualms about it. But I really am trying to figure it out. And I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, we've been on this trek since um, February, and I'm sorry about the loud noise. It's all the air conditioning systems, I guess, that are going on around here. Um, but I'm trying to figure out, you know, what it is that, you know, I'm doing. Well, I can tell you what I'm doing. Yesterday, and for the, since Monday, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> but I'm on my lunch break and I don't have a lot of time. But since Monday, I um, have been tracking my water more so because um, before I wasn't drinking anything. And when I say I wasn't drinking anything, nada. I eat ice because I'm anemic and so these are just my truths people <laughs> these are just my truths so wasn't eating excuse me I wasn't drinking water and I was just eating ice I mean I was going to Sonic I go to Sonic um, there's a twice daily which if you bring your own cup it's free ice and don't even get me started on that because my my people at home already think my love and my kids already think I'm cheap so that just takes it to a whole nother level but I figured you know twice daily you, you're doing something for me big up to twice daily but <laughs> anyway um, so I go to twice daily to get ice because it's free I bring my own container um, or I would go to Sonic and get ice or because I work in a medical center we have an ice machine that good hospital ice Yes, yes indeed. Um, I get that every day, normally every morning. That's the first thing that I go to before I clock in and pretty much the last thing I get to so I can eat it on my way home. So anyway, um, Monday I was like, I'm determined to drink water. You know, I've been, I've been feeling good, um, but I knew that that was an issue you know, for me, and I knew that I needed to get that part together, so, um, so I have been getting an over 100 plus, um, ounces of water since Monday, awesome, awesome work on my behalf, uh, it really, I mean, it takes a lot, I've gotten in, um, 60 ounces so far, um, it's 207-ish here, in Tennessee right now on a Wednesday today is June 
18th, sorry. But anyway, um, so I, I've been doing great doing that. But um, I tracked my food, I've been tracking my food as well since Monday, consistently, which, I mean, there's no applause for that. But, but since Monday. Um, but I noticed yesterday, yesterday was my son's birthday, he turned 12. And I only got in like 343 calories before dinner. And I was feeling good. I was like, that is great. I'm doing awesome. You know, my carb intake was a little high, but um, I've been on these Snyder's mini pretzels. So, um, so that's 35 carbs right there. But I have a little sm small addiction to them. And they're the mini bag. So it's just a small addiction. But I gotta, I gotta recover from that. So um, yesterday we went to Papa Murphy's and we um, got him some cupcakes from Kroger. So um, yesterday, you know, I was like, it's a veggie delight. So you know, one thing is off the bread thing, but it was a cheat day yesterday. We've been going hard in the paint since. A good bit since um, no we really have been since uh, for the past three weeks now no breads no sweets no meats no meats since February so we've been doing we've been doing great so yesterday because it was a birthday for me Jamie didn't have any sweets which is good but you know we shared uh, a veggie delight pizza and uh, I had five slices but I cut them small so I don't know what uh, my fitness pal was saying, but it calculated an obscene amount of calories for those five pieces. But they were like slivers to some degree, kind of, sort of. Um, but I had that, and then I had three cupcakes, people. <laughs> three cupcakes. Three. When I say I was feeling nauseous, um all I mean any feeling that you would I mean totally totally was like this is why I don't eat sweets this is why we are on this mission of no sweets no meats no bread this is why so is this is a mini little update I hope to come back you know to you guys with a little something extra but um I'm sorry for the noise guys but I'm telling you tracking yourself on my fitness pal or whatever you track yourself on being obedient to the book that you get when you have surgery or before surgery being obedient to the rules um, is priceless absolutely priceless and I'm wondering I was wondering why did I get up to 154 pounds I wasn't eating sweets, but my carbs are out of are out of this world, and it's because you know we're incorporating more vegetables. Um, I'm you know with the jasmine rice, it's not terrible, but it's not the best either. It's not great. I shouldn't even be eating rice, but um, but that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. Um, or you know brown rice stuff like that. Um, and so I'm kind of deterring a little bit from the Daniel Fast in that sense, but you know that's my one that's my one give me. Um, but I don't know. I just needed to vent and needed to say that because you know one thing that I never want to have be misconstrued misconstrued is that this journey is easy. It's not. Uh, the struggle is real. Um, the struggle is real and uh, you know what we do every day overall tells a bigger picture of how we're going to be successfully you know how we're going to end up on this journey of ours is going to be determined by our daily walk in this WLS journey so I leave you with that you know each day make a commitment to do something different than you did the day before if you were eating three cupcakes <laughs> the day before 
don't eat those three cupcakes that next day. If your carb con <laughs> count is over 100, try to curb that crap the next day, which I'm already over 100 right now, and I don't, I don't even want to go into it. I had a sweet potato, and I had my um, veggie ground meat that I mixed up with some black beans and some jasmine rice, so... And I'm a little overboard today. And I had some Raisin Bran Crunch cereal this morning. So today is a reflective day. <laughs> you know, I, I have to figure out how to get more of my protein in while still being a vegetarian, while still being a vegetarian slash vegan, but also sticking to the rules as best I can while I'm on that journey. While I'm on that vegetarian journey, I think, I know I can do it. You know, I just, it's, it gets hard sometimes. So, I am enjoying watching these videos. I'm enjoying uh, catching up. I, re I remember how I felt when I was pre-op and tomorrow will be my 18 months post-op. And, you know, getting, conjuring up those same feelings that I had when I first started this journey and seeing all of you people out there on your grind, doing your daily walk in this journey, being as truthful as honest, coming to us, you know, with everything laid on the table. I'm enjoying watching your videos. Today has been great. I've been watching some really good videos, um, but for these last couple weeks, watching videos has been awesome and getting back to what matters most, and that is just, you know, going by the playbook, you know? Even though I'm not mastering the playbook, I'm <laughs> at least trying my best to incorporate those same things that, that made my journey successful in the very beginning. So, um... I'm not a failure, I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up. It's just hard right now. Um, it was hard two weeks ago, uh, so I don't want you to think that, you know, because sometimes I come to you guys and I'm kind of bubbly and positive and, you know, this, that, and the other, but, you know, you can be positive and truthful at the same time. So, um, I leave you with that, and I'm out. Bye!